Welcome to the Divine Connection Podcast. I'm your host, Christina Roche, and together we are walking the path of discovering your true self and the alignment with your soul. Through these conversations, you will experience a deeper level of connection with yourself and the universe, and most importantly, you will trust in your spiritual journey ahead. Let's begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode one, The Self. In this episode, I am going to be sharing more about who we truly are as souls and how we can deepen this connection to our divine self, what that even means, and go into all the great things and all of the bigger questions that we tend to ask ourselves in terms of who we are and How does our divine soul energy look like? How does it work? How does it all come together? So I'm really excited to have you here and to kick off the Divine Connection podcast with this episode. And so the first thing that I want to touch on when it comes to our self, right? When I'm talking about our self, I'm talking about who we are as souls, as light beings, as spiritual beings, however you want to think of it, however you look at it for yourself personally. And one of the most important things to remember regarding this energy is the fact that our souls, they are created from one divine source, right? And you'll hear me talk about this energy, this source energy interchangeably with source, with God, with the universe, with the creator. And so my perspective, my opinion on this is that it's all one and the same, right? And we just have certain words that we resonate with most. Some people resonate more with the word God. Other people don't resonate with that word. Some people like to use the universe. Others don't don't like to use that. So it's really up to you what feels good to you. The most important thing to remember with this is the fact that we were all created from this one source. And the way that I think see it, the way that it comes to me visually is that I see it as this great big ball of energy, a pure divine white light energy, right? So if you think of it as this pure just ball of energy and how it creates light beings out of it, right? It's like these extensions that come out from that one source. And so that light, pure, that pure divine energy represents God, it represents the universe, it represents source energy, it represents the creator, and the extensions of light that come out of it represent each and every single soul that is created, that comes from that one source. And so when we view it from that perspective, we can see how we are all, we all come from that one divine source of energy. (laughs) We all come from that big, great ball of light that is pure divine love pure divine light, and that we are extensions of it. And so as extensions of it, our souls seek to have unique expressions. And this is one of those concepts where, you know, if we think of of, of God, of the universe, of source as being an expression, a unique expression of so many different facets, so, so many different characteristics, so many different things, we as individuals are the ones who bring that forward. So as an individual light being, as an individual soul, you will have your own desires and and, and creations and expressions and truths that originate from that source, right? But yours might be different from mine, which might be different from that person, might be different from that person. And that's all beautiful and a part of it. And that's how it's meant to be. And so what's important to understand is that as these extensions of light take on these different forms and these different frequencies and all of the different variations, like literally infinite variations of what can exist, that's how we then come to this existence where we experience so much diversity, not just between each of us as humans, but even between, you know, if you think about angels versus 
us as humans, right? Like we, we're living on different frequencies. Our spirit guides, if we think about ascended masters, if we think about cosmic beings and cosmic energies and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I could go on and on and on. But you see what I'm saying is that there's so many different frequencies that exist and so many different expressions and so many different forms of this energy. And that's how we have this diverse universe. That's how we have all of these light beings that we can connect to. That's why we have so many humans that exist and so many of us that that, that are here right now in this specific human expression. But of course, there are other, <laughs> there, there are past loved ones, right? Um, and there's just so many, so, so, so many souls. And so when we think of all of these expressions and all of these variations and all of these frequencies and, and the existence of the self in this way, how there's so many variations from that source, what's important to understand and the next question that often comes up is, you know, what are we here to do? Why are there so many of us? <laughs> Why are there so many expressions of source? Why does source want to be expressed in so many different ways? And the answer to that I think is something that we continuously get to explore and understand. I don't believe that anyone has the ultimate key and answers and secrets of the universe. I believe that it is a mystery that is on purpose. <laughs> but what I do know is that we are here to expand our light. We are here to expand. So if you think of, again, that big ball of energy. We are extensions from that ball of energy. We are extensions of source. And so that means that we are extensions of that light. And so when you think of that extension of light coming out and you're at the forefront of it, right? So as you live your life, you are expanding your light. As you live in follow your journey and, you know, go through life, your light is expanding your extension, your specific extension from the, from source energy is continuously growing and expanding. And that's why you hear the term around, you know, souls being infinite beings and how the universe is continuously expanding because that's the nature of who we are. We, we expand, we grow. And so the way in which we do that, there's two main things to understand about this. The first one, the first main way is through the lessons that we have come here to learn and heal and grow through. So this is challenging situations. This is um, different traumas that people experience. This is all of the different scenarios and difficulties and healing that we must go through to understand more of who we are. And so that's part of our experience here on earth is that as a human, right? So as a soul who is coming through in this specific human expression, the human vessel is our way in which we've chosen to go through this expansion of our light. So we each chose this human vessel to support our soul's expansion. We said, okay, I'll be this human <laughs> for this lifetime. And through this human's experience, I'm going to learn this. I'm going to heal through this. I'm going to learn about this. I'm going to come closer into who I am through this way and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's the path that we have chosen, right? Like that's the journey that we have decided to, to bring ourselves through in order to move through that specific form of soul expansion. Okay. So that's something that our souls decide before entering into our human experience. So our souls enter into this human experience with that decision in mind, with that knowing, with that divine plan in mind of like, okay, I want to, I want to learn this and heal this and do this and do this. And this is the perfect human for me to do that. <laughs> so that's that's the first thing, right? So as we go through these different um, experiences, through the lessons, through the healing, through the growth, it expands more of who we are. Meaning that when we learn those lessons and when we go through that healing, we integrate more of our light being into that actual physical expression 
right? So as I learned the lesson of true self-love, or as I learned the lesson of um, true self-empowerment through these various different experiences of my life, what happens is I'm integrating more of my soul's light and more of my soul's energy into the expression of my human experience right now. So prior to that, it's kind of, it's almost like if you think of it as like, there's only a certain, like if you think of those dimmer switches of, uh, for, for, you know, any sort of light switch in your home that has a dimmer, it's like, well, at first it's pretty dim because the light hasn't fully come in or it hasn't fully integrated in, it, in its, in its greatest potential or capacity because it's new in, in this human experience. And then as the human comes into form and as the human starts to go walk through life and, and learn its lessons, it's like more of that integrated light from our soul comes online, right? And if you think of that dimmer switch, it, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. So essentially our journey is to become that brightest light, is to turn on that dimmer switch to full blast so that our light is purely shining, so that our light is there and exists and it's so bright and it's so beautiful and so powerful and we hold that light. It's integrated into our human experience, right? So it's integrated into who we are as a human. And the reason why that is important is because if we take away the human, and we just think about the spiritual being, the spiritual being already is all of that, right? So there is no next level of expansion as much as there is when we are in the human experience. So the human experience is what allows that expansion to go further. And that's the reason why souls choose to come here. That's the reason why souls choose to incarnate, right? I mean, we, I'm sure every single person has had a thought like, why would I choose to come here? <laughs> like, look at the chaos on this earth. Look at what's going on. Look at my life. Look at this. Look at that. Like, what is this chaos? What is this craziness? Why would I choose to come here? Right? Like, who has not had that thought, even if it was just for a split second? Like, why did, what, what was my soul thinking? <laughs> right? And the truth is that this is why, because the human experience is the ultimate form of soul expansion. Whereas when we stay, if we stay in spiritual form, then it doesn't grow as quickly. It doesn't grow as much. There's not as much opportunity for these different types of challenges and healings and growth because Spirit, spirit form is already spirit form, right? There's no, none of this duality, none of this contrast that exists. And so this is like the accelerated path for the soul. And because the nature of the soul is to expand, it's like, hell yeah, sign me up for that, right? Even though us as humans, we're like, well, what are you thinking? You're crazy. Why are we here, <laughs> right? So that's something to that's important to uh, remember regarding this is that as you heal, as you grow, as you learn, as you integrate more of your soul's light, you are supporting that expansion that your soul has come here to experience. And so the second way in which we expand our light, the second way in which the soul has come here to um, support its growth is through the process of creation. So when I think of creation, I think of, you know, what, what a lot of people call manifestation, what a lot of people call, you know, really bringing your desires to life. And so when it comes to the process of creation, I also equate that to expression, right? Expression of our true self, expression of our soul. And that can come through in so many different ways for people. But at the end of the day, what is another thing to, that's important to remember is that your soul's true nature is to be self-expressed. So it desires to express itself. It desires to, to, to bring forward this creation, whatever way that looks like. So for some people, creation looks like literally creating artwork, right? Like art, painting, whatever, that kind of thing. For others, it's music. For others, it's singing. There's expression through words, right? Through music or through writing. There's um, expression through conversation or through talking, through speaking. There's so many different forms of expression, right? And 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 I'm just naming really basic ones and, and really, you know, just kind of naming a, a couple 
there's so much that exists out there, right? Like dance is another one. Um, or, you know, writing a book, like all of these different ways in which we we can express ourselves. And and it's not that we also just choose one way. That's the other thing to remember. It, it's, it's the fact that we can express ourselves in so many different ways. And all the ways that we desire it or all the ways that we feel called to do it, it's a form of our soul bringing forward its light, bringing forward this creative energy because that's how it desires to express itself right? So that's one part of it. And the other part of this creation energy is also, like I was saying at the beginning, is this manifestation energy. So it's it's the energy in which you desire to live. So creating the life that you desire for yourself, right? If you think about your, your dreams, your desires, if you, you know, if I asked you the question, if you could do anything, if you could be anywhere in the world, if you could become anybody, what would that be for you? What would that look like? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? That's what you want to think about. That's what you want to lean into and see what comes through. And so as you think about that, as you feel into that, and sometimes, you know, the answer might not be clear right away and that's okay. And for others, you might have a split second thought that came through and then immediately your mind is like, that's crazy. Who do you think you are to be doing that? Who do you think you are to think that you can be that person or you could um, show up in this way or, or whatever it is, right? And so, um, and so what's important for us to remember is that when we think of this energy of who we desire to be, of what we desire to create, how we desire to live, the experiences that we desire to have. If we hold that, if we have that, if that desire even came through, even just for a split second, but if that desire came through, it means that you have the potential to create it. It means that you hold that energy, you hold that that potentiality inside of you. It means that part of your soul's path was to bring that expression into form, to bring that life into form, to, to bring that version of you into form. And so rather than feeling like, how on earth am I going to do that? Because that sounds crazy or way too big or way too whatever. Instead, our job is to then lean into show me the way. This is in my soul's potential. This is in my heart. This is part of who I'm here to be. Show me. Show me the way, right? And this then, as we allow ourselves to really to really understand and to listen to our heart and to listen to our desires and to listen to what comes through when we allow ourselves to lean into that, that is the truest connection with self, right? That is the truest connection to who we truly are. And everything else is shown to you. Everything else unfolds for you. Everything else, like our job, the, the least of our worries is the how, <laughs> even though we make it the top priority, like how am I going to do that, right? Which is understandable because that's how the logical human ego mind operates. And so we are also in this, in this um, experience where we're managing not just understanding ourselves on a soul level and um, trying to remember these truths about ourselves and, and remembering our desires and remembering who we are. But at the same time, we're also managing the human, right? The human that is a lower frequency, the human who does look at things from a perspective of, of fear most of the time, right? And so we we come into this place where that duality that we experience is that ultimate container of growth for ourselves. Because despite the fear, despite the doubts, despite the logical mind, despite the questioning of the how, despite all of these things that come from our human mind, we still show up in our truth and in the connection to ourself, in the connection to who we are. And, and that is what allows us to rise up in this energy, to know our true self 
and to really become the embodiment of our soul, to become the embodiment of who we have come here to be, to really turn on that light switch, that dimmer switch to full blast so that your light can shine so purely, so brightly that there's no doubt, there's no question in your mind of who you are. And so that is the journey here. That is what we have come here to to create and to experience and to discover a, about ourselves. So this is a continuous journey. I don't believe that there is this real this real end, right? Until we literally are like, okay, see you later, Earth, right? Until we literally leave our body. Um, but up until that point, it's a continuous journey of self-discovery. It's a continuous journey of light expansion. It's a continuous journey of remembering and of creation and of expression. Because as you create, you're going to create, want to create something else and something more and something different and something new and something more expansive. It's, it's the nature of who we are. Your creative energy will never run out. It will never run out right? That's one of the things that sometimes people ask and, and, and have a fear of is like, well, what if I run out of ideas? <laughs> if I follow, pursue this, right? The pursue this idea, pursue this desire. What if I run out of ideas? You're not going to. You will not run out of ideas because the divine is infinite and you're a part of the divine. Your creation is part of the divine. Your expression is part of the divine your light is divine. And so because of that, you are infinite. Your ideas are infinite. Your abilities are infinite. Your potential is infinite. And it will continue to grow as long as you step into that and you desire it and you follow that path, right? So that is who we are. That is the self. And that is the journey of the self, of discovering the self, of coming into alignment and into the embodiment of your true self. So I would love to hear from you in the comments wherever you are listening to this episode right now. Let me know what are you most excited to discover about yourself and about who you are as a soul and what you have come to discover up until this point as a soul. And I cannot wait to see you for the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I am sending you so much love and angel blessings. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. And if you want to learn more about the Divine Connection podcast, you can go to christinaaroche.com forward slash podcast and learn about how you can be featured on the show.